Welcome again to the EG Reading Rounds. Let's start with the clinical history. This is a 35-year-old right-handed man who began having seizures almost 10 years ago. His seizures exclusively occur in sleep. He does not have any recollection when he wakes up in the morning except feeling sore all over his body. He has been on a number of medications with poor seizure control. He continues to have two to three seizures a month. So let's start looking at this EEG here. We are looking at a bipolar montage. So electrodes labeled with an odd number are recording electrical activity from the left hemisphere and those which end with an even number record electrical activity from the right hemisphere. FZ, CZ and PZ record electrical activity from the midline. The first thing that you see on the CEG is a lack of occipital dominant alpha rhythm. So when you look in the occipital region, you do not see an alpha rhythm. So looking at O2, which is the right occipital, and O1, which is the left occipital, you do not see any eye blink artifacts. Eye blink artifacts are typically seen in the frontal head regions at FP1 and FP2 which you don't see. So you assume that this patient is asleep. On this very first page you are not seeing any sleep spindles so this most likely is a stage 1 sleep. We'll move on. You notice some theta frequency here so let me move this bar here if you count the number of waves within that one second, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half, so this is more of a theta frequency. You see muscle artifact over here, so this is muscle artifact in the left frontal and left temporal head region. Besides the theta frequencies, you also see beta frequencies in the frontal head region and in fact distributed through the whole hemisphere. So these, these fast frequencies are beta frequencies. When looking at an EEG make sure you also look at the heart rate. So between these dark green lines is one second and if you count the heart rate, so if you take 10 seconds and count the number of QRS complexes, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 6 is approximately 48 beats per minute. Now, what you see here, you see a sharp complex at the CZ head region. You see it at CZ you also noted it at F3C3. You in fact see it F4C4. There is some distribution involving F7 and in fact F8. There is a possibility this could be a vertex wave which is seen in sleep. This is muscle artifact that you see in a generalized distribution this is more of that muscle. There are some sharp waves noted at F3 and F7. So let's focus on these sharp waves a little further. I have now removed the grid lines and you can see a face reversal at F3 and a sharp wave here at F7 as well. So this is where you have the sharp wave or the epileptiform activity. Let's change it to a different montage. If you look at a referential montage, so this is an average reference montage which compares left to the right side. So each subsequent electrode changes between the left and the right hemisphere. You see the highest amplitudes of these sharp waves are at FP1, F3 and you note the field extending to F7. You note, you note some high amplitude sharp waves 
at F3 and FP1 and you see the sharp waves also involving CZ what you see here this is all muscle artifact more of those sharp waves in the left frontal and temporal head region what you start seeing now is are these sleep spindles so the presence of sleep spindles tell you that this is stage 2 sleep you notice stage uh, sleep spindles here again so this is stage 2 sleep and you notice prominent sharp waves what I call juicy spikes in the left frontal and temporal head regions an interesting finding here on this page is although the patient is asleep you notice some eye movement artifacts here there is a possibility that this person is in the REM sleep right now which is REM sleep we do not have an electrode on the muscle to record muscle artifacts so we cannot absolutely prove that but there is a good likelihood that this person is in the REM sleep at this moment the patient is probably in REM sleep on this page as well what you see here these are rectus muscle spikes we will discuss this further during my tutorial on benign EEG variants so what you see here these are not on C3 excuse me so what you see on FP2 F8 these are possibly rectus muscle spikes this is another good example of rectus muscle spikes during REM sleep so let me put this cursor here as you notice here at F8 you see a positive polarity whereas at F7 you see a negative polarity telling you that patient has horizontal eye movement at this time and this spike that precedes this horizontal movement this is also termed as pre-saccadic spike potential or lateral rectus spike now you see a posterior dominant more or less alpha rhythm close to 7 to 8 hertz so the patient is awake you're seeing eye blink artifacts so how you how would you know that this person is awake or asleep on the EG there are a number of things that you want to look at number one is there any muscle artifact so you see tiny bit of muscle in the frontal head region then the other question is are there eye blinks so yes you see eye blinks here although some eye rapid eye movements can be seen with REM sleep and then you see a posterior dominant alpha rhythm so those features are suggestive that this person is awake at this time so you see more of the beta frequencies in the frontal head region you see eye blinks you see a posterior dominant theta to alpha rhythm at this time this is just electrode artifact patients who are taking barbiturates or benzodiazepines tend to display more beta frequencies on the EEG so in summary this is an abnormal EEG secondary to left frontal and temporal sharp waves and this probably is the focus so the le there is a probably a focus of excitability in the left frontal temporal head region which which predisposes this patient to seizures thank you very much I'll see you in the next tutorial